Hey YouTube, Baby Jace here, and uh, today I want to talk about basically my thoughts on Blizzard changing boss fights. And when I say changing boss fights, I do not mean nerfing them. Nerfing them is something that Blizzard has always done. They did it in Firelands, they nerfed the entire instance, they did it in Dragon Soul with the buff, they did it in fucking T14, they did it in T15, they, they have done it every single tier, they have done nerfs, okay? That is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about... Hey, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. But what I'm talking about is I'm talking about them completely changing how fights work. Um, and so, when I say completely changing how fights work is that they add HP, they change how you... the strategy of a fight. Um, and this is a very big problem, this expansion. And it just shows you that Blizzard has no fucking idea what what they are doing when it comes to testing they have no idea they release these bosses with and, and i'm assuming they're releasing with the assumption everyone's gonna have 54 out of 54 which is fine i mean they should have made that assumption this correct assumption to make the high-end guilds are gonna have 54 54 and that's just how it's gonna be but they didn't stop there they made the bosses so Difficult in the terms of like damage check. All right, maybe not difficult is the right word I'm looking for, but they made these bosses have very specific damage checks. So like say Elisand and Augur, specifically Augur Elisand. Augur, you needed to kill the boss before the second ad killed you because it, it, you just took so much damage and you, there was no way in fucking hell you were killing that ad. It's just not gonna happen. You cannot kill that ad before he like killed you. Like, it's not gonna happen. You're never gonna have the damage to kill the boss. Elison, you needed to get out of phase one before the fifth set of, uh, or the the fifth set of rings. Because once you hit the fifth set in rings onward, it just makes the fight a lot harder to deal with. So, in this tier specifically, they decided that they were gonna make Augur and Elison do way more damage, but in return, they were going to reduce the health because guilds were too healing it. They didn't want guilds to too heal it. Well, if you didn't want guilds to too heal it, you shouldn't have fucking designed the fights where they do no damage but have these DPS checks that you need to beat. Like, what do you? What did you think was going to happen? Where is your QA team? Like, these are the type of things that a QA team discovers when they are testing. They test. Oh, we could too heal this fight because it does no fucking damage. And it's really unfortunate that um, they decided in mid-progression to just change these fights. And this is not something Blizzard has done in the past. Some guilds were able to react very efficiently to these changes and it didn't even affect their progression. Like, Encore has done very solid progression. This has not slowed them down at all. Whereas, you know, guilds like mine and guilds like uh, and other guilds, you know, we got hit with the roadblock because now we're like, shit, well, we've done this strategy for however many pulls now we have to figure out a new one and we so we would go with one like well that doesn't work let's go with this new one and it just slowed it slowed us down it slowed other guilds down and it's just this is not something that we have ever experienced before after during progress and it's really unfortunate um that we couldn't react as well as you know like a guild like encore was able to react or a guild like uh honestly was able to react just other guilds re reacted better um but i'm not the only guild that kind of hates them doing these changes mid-progress it, it just shows the utter lack of them knowing how to play their game they, they, just, they don't know anything and it's just sad another prime example of this was ilgnoth like they changed ilgnoth completely it was so obvious during testing that one shotting that phase was something that you could try to do and if you were able to pull it off with your comps it would make the fight drastically easier just way fucking easier and their response to ilgnoth was to massively increase his health and force you to do the second phase which fucked guilds like i know of a couple guilds that were like sub 10 percent on the boss you know they're trying to get this burn strike down and they're like okay another week of gear and we're, we're gonna get it and then they completely 
you know, did this, and it just screwed their progression up. They had to re learn an entirely new phase, and they had to change their comp, and they had to add healers, and they weren't sure, like, how many healers to add, and it just, it screwed them up so unnecessarily. Another example of Blizzard just straight up not testing their game, and just being just mentally just, uh, just stupid, okay? Like, they're just so stupid, is Ren Feral and Chronomatic Anomaly. Both of those fights, when they went live, had no HP. They literally had no HP. To the point where the first two guilds, the first two or three guilds that killed those fights, just blasted them, one-shot them. They're like, what the fuck? Is this mythic? And then Blizzard went in and added on a cool 500 million to, like, Ren Feral or something like that, and they added, like, 600, 700 million to Chronomatic Anomaly. Like, who the f Like, it's so obvious. Anyone with a freaking, like, brain could obviously see that those fights had way too few HP. The HP on those fights was just not enough. And the fact that it took Blizzard relying on live guilds to test their content for them is just so frustrating. It's so frustrating because like like what are you doing with your game? Like you're you're not even playing your own game. Cuz anyone with a brain could have seen that the, the HP was just not it was not right. And this is like a new trend because this has not happened before. They did not do this last expansion and they definitely did not do this in WAD. Or not WAD, in MOP. They didn't do it in MOP, they didn't do it in Cataclysm, they didn't do it in, in WAD. So it's like, this is a, a new trend. This is not something that has been done in the past. And I don't care what people on Reddit say, this is not something that they have done in the past. This is brand new. God, I'm just not used to playing the spec anymore. This is brand new stuff, and it's very, it's very scary going forward because, you know, you want the people who are designing the game to at least pretend like they know what they're doing, and it's so obvious that they don't know what they're doing anymore, and I don't even know what the point of their QA team is anymore because either the QA team isn't doing their job or they're not listening to them, and I could definitely be not listening to them from what I've heard in the past. It's very possible where the devs said, well, we don't believe you're right. And then, you know, they ended up, we're right. So I don't want to put the blame purely on the QA team because uh, that is a very strong possibility that they Blizzard just ignored them. It's just, it's sad. Let me know what you think on this. I'm sure some of you are going to disagree. Some of you are going to agree. You know, put in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to come up with a few more of these because that definitely had a lot of things on my mind uh, when it comes to Blizzard's choices in this game. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, I hope you have a good day, and I hope you're never at the, uh, I hope you never get screwed over in the middle of a progress like how we basically did. So uh, other than that, have a good day.